In Arkansas, we are so proud of Coach Frank Broyles, who in 1964 gave us a national football championship. But the coach's greatest contribution may be the guidance he's given to millions of families caring for loved ones with Alzheimer's disease. Frank Broyles has always met challenges head on. The right mix of preparation, inspiration and communication made him a winning coach. When Barbara, his wife of over 50 years, was diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease, he brought the same proven combination to that battle. Again, preparation came first, a step far too many caregivers forego. You can't make a game plan if you don't know your opponent. And we knew nothing about Alzheimer's. After the entire family learned all they could about what Barbara would need, they found inspiration by embracing the challenge. Being a caregiver is the greatest gift you can do for your loved one. And our family all believe that. We took it as a positive. But it doesn't remove all the heartache and hard times. Alzheimer's is a thief of the worst kind. They lose their memory, their judgment, their reasoning, and their language. And in the first three or four years, they go from a normal person to an age of 20. And so Barbara didn't know me because she remembered me at 20. I had red hair. And she would look at me as at gray hair, and she wouldn't know who I was. They would have to get to know one another time and again, rebuilding trust from scratch almost daily. It took some creative communication. You communicate with somebody that doesn't have a memory, doesn't have a reasoning, doesn't have judgment, and can't speak. Early on, he could strengthen their bond by sharing the memories Barbara could recall. It was wonderful medicine. A great lesson for anybody listening as a caregiver, you go back and, and discuss the memories with them when you sit down and relax, and that brings joy to them. As Barbara's disease progressed, even those early shared experiences became irretrievable. He coped with her growing insecurities through the tone of his voice and the touch of his hand. Very little of their communication came through words. They live by the look on your face. They live by the tone of your voice. They don't know what you're saying. See, Barbara didn't know my name the last two years of her life. And, uh, but when we would, I'd hold her hand, oh, she would relax and be calm and all because she felt safe. With Alzheimer's, nothing can reverse the inevitable, but the family could provide the security she craved to ease her fears. If they feel safe and loved, then dignity will prevail. It certainly did with Barbara. She died in 2004. Frank still misses her profoundly, but he hopes caregivers will understand that if you take a winning attitude to a losing battle, you still walk away a better person. We love you, Coach. Keep up the good work for many years to come. For more information about Alzheimer's disease, go to ArkansasMatters.com. From the Longevity Center at St. Vincent, I'm Dr. David.